Welcome, welcome. This is the Review Podcast coming at you here today. Uh, we are going to be reviewing the movie Morbius, which just came out a few weeks ago. Yep. We're a little late to it. Everyone kind of knows it's bad, so uh, we'll just get into a huge aspect of what's bad about this movie. Yeah. Before we get started, make sure you like and subscribe and check out our other normal videos. We've got a whole playlist with all the shows and the movies and lots of Spider Man reviews, tons of fun reviews in there, so check that out. And make sure you comment down below what you thought of Morbius. If you thought it was great, I would love to know why. Me if you too. thought it was bad, I also <laughs> really want to know why you think it's bad too, because it's pretty agreed upon. So let's dive right in. We're going to go through each aspect we always go through and rank this movie and uh yeah, a little spoiler review it's not going to be good either way so yeah it's not if you don't like this movie you can enjoy this with us if you do love it then you might want to get out of here so let's dive right into morbius so let's start here with our plot of this movie which is arguably maybe the worst part of the movie um what did you give the plot out of 10 so i i think i'm i give the plot a four out of ten okay because i've I feel like it's not the most like atrocious plot that has existed, you know? Um, I think that the first quarter of the movie had something that that could have been good. Like, it still wasn't set up the greatest. Um, I think that they definitely should have had more of an emotional connection between the two friends um, yeah. and stuff like that. I just guess that goes more into the characters, but the characters' plots are not very good. Yeah. Um, and they, I feel like they don't really expa- explain too much, like why they're hurting all the time and stuff. I think that they could have done that better. Yeah. Um, and I just find it very rushed for an origin movie. And then once it gets to the villain, it just it goes so bad <laughs> really quick after that first quarter of the movie. Yeah, it does. Um, and then, yeah, I guess I can just mention the post courtesy is kind of the plot that, yeah, it is. that he's did not <laughs> did not excite me yeah um it kind of bugged me because the logic just doesn't work no um yeah so i went kind of low for the plot but it's not like the worst thing ever yeah yeah well for me i went even lower i give the plot a one out of ten dang um, because yeah to me it barely has anything good about it honestly even from the get-go there's a lot of dumb logical things that mm-hmm. happen right off the bat and starting off with a scene of him Getting the bats to bite him with a helicopter full of guys. And the bats <laughs> puts up this random force field that does nothing. And then all the guys, I think, get killed, it seems like. But Morbius just somehow gets out of that situation. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's already enough for me to start off with a bad taste enough. And then we that's go to them as kids right after, which is just weird. And then we have him winning a Nobel Prize. <laughs> He's about to give a speech and it just cuts. <laughs> and uh, I could go on and on. There's just so many little things. I think the plot just seems like... I don't know. I I don't want to blame the director completely, but I do think that he mostly made this plot. I don't think the studio yeah. really had that much interference. I do think they cut out a lot of things, probably. Um, so there's probably an edited version that can make this plot go up a little more. But I think overall, They're, it's still a pretty yeah. bad plot. And, uh, they yeah, definitely just, took out a lot, though. Yeah, there's definitely a lot out. It's too short. And it skips so many things, and the scenes cut so weirdly. Um, and it really just feels like a lot of emphasis was put on those post-credit scenes with Vulture, and they're not good post-credit scenes. They it are seems not. like there was a lot of work put into those, and not too much work put into the rest of the movie. I feel like there was a lot of work put into it until Spider-Man No Way Home came out, and they're like, uh, we got you. That's what I feel like, too. Yeah, I think yeah. Sony's sitting here without much of a plan wanting to just kind of say whatever to this plot. I think there was even more care put into the Venom plots, which aren't even that great. They're not. You can feel more care put into Honestly, the Venom makes this movie, or er, this movie makes Venom, like, look kind of yeah. yeah. okay. Yeah, so the plot was just frustrating, and there's just so many disappointments with it, and so much logical things that just, like, make me so angry. Like, I, I, that's why I give it a one yeah. out because, I mean, it could have been some good things, and I do think there is a good movie that could have been made out of this. Um, if you just changed a ton about it, I think there's still a good foundation with Morbius and other things that could make it really awesome. And it didn't work. Yeah. So, um, the plot really is the worst part of this movie. For me. Everything else, like, still pretty bad, <laughs> but I feel like the plot was the thing that got me the most frustrated. And I'm pretty sure the most people have got frustrated from the plot. Yeah. Um, and decisions made by Sony and what they're just doing here in general. So, give it a one out of ten. Let's go on to the dialogue. What did you give the dialogue of the movie? I give the dialogue a four because I don't know. I feel like some of it's okay, but then they also have really bad lines. Like, <laughs> you don't want to see me when I'm hungry. 
Yeah, that line that made me bad. die inside a little bit, honestly. Yeah, it was bad. Um, or I am Venom. <laughs> like, <stop. laughs> yeah. Uh, they just have some really cringy lines like that, and I feel like also the police, you know, like the two police characters, oh, so trying to be the comedic, comedic relief. Um, I, I feel like their dialogue is nobody bad laughed too. once during the movie. There's no laughs. I had I heard no chuckles. All of my theaters, there's never been a laugh. The only this. thing I would laugh at is that hungry line because it's yeah. just so dumb. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So yeah, the, I feel like when it's not being cringy, it's being fine. There was. Right off the bat, though, they started with that weird, like, we complete each other's sentences thing. Oh, yeah. Um, that made that got me. I was like, <laughs> Right. That's a bad way to force romance. Um, I agree. Yeah. So it's just decent, I guess. It's fine. Nice. Well, I gave the dialogue a 2 out of 10, because it's a little better than the plot. Yeah. <laughs> but for me, yeah, the dialogue, it's just every character feels so monotone and not interesting at uh-huh. all. Even Morbius himself, every time he says a line, it just He's feels very like quiet. so robot, so mid-tone. I think Jared Leto can do better than that, I'm pretty sure. So I'm not sure if it's a script problem. It's probably both. I, I think mean, Jared Leto didn't do as good as he could have yeah. done. From what I've heard, he's a good actor, but I've only seen him as Joker. Yeah. And in this, and it's not convincing me too much right now. Yeah, right. So I'm not, I'm not sure who to blame there. But I just know that Morbius, like, he's just not interesting when he talks. Like, at least with Venom. Tom Hardy's a ton of fun. Yeah. He's always going to be a exactly. lot of fun. Great with his dialogue. You know, there's funny dialogue there. Uh-huh. This, the dialogue's just very, very boring. And it almost wants to put me to sleep lots of times. I almost movie. fell asleep during this movie. <laughs> yeah, me too. So, um, I just think it's boring. It's so boring. And then it just gets cringy sometimes, too. Uh-huh. Especially with the villain character. I think he can be incredibly cringy. He can. And things he says. They did not do good with him. <laughs> no. And uh, I just wish Morbius was more interesting, at least. Like, he, I, I can tell he tries to have some funny lines here and there, but yeah. they just come off as normal. So it just doesn't work. And I just was bored, bored by the dialogue. So it wasn't interesting. It wasn't funny. It was just boring. And um, I feel like the MCU and tons of, most other superhero movies at least have some funny dialogue or some fun things. So, like, oh, I don't know what was happening again. I just want to talk about Vulture's one line that, or. Er, that line yeah. that he had when he was like, too. I hope the food's better here. The whole post credit scene that was stupid. Just, just like, I think Spider-Man is the reason for this. So let's get a group of guys together. Yeah, exactly. It's so so dumb. Dumb. Like, it's just the dumbest, you know, like like a five-year-old can write that, you know. It's just, <laughs> it sounds like a five-year-old wrote it. So. Yeah, uh, that, that was bad too. Uh, let's go on to the visuals of the movie. Um, I went a little bit higher with the visuals. I went with the six just because mm-hmm. I think that it, it's it's better than everything else, but still, it is pretty bad visuals. Yeah. Like, I think everything looks okay. It's just the fighting that it looks so bad. It like it gives me Venom One vibes. I think that yeah, this sure. does the job of making it look a little bit better than Venom One. But still, I, I don't know what they're going for with it. But mm-hmm. I mean, everything's fine. I feel like everything's a little bit dull, kind of like. Yeah. There's not much life to it, no. but. I'm not gonna go ahead and give it like something super low. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I don't have much to say about that. Yeah, for me, I give the visuals a four out of ten. Um, yeah, they're, they're definitely the best part of the movie. Yeah. There's a few uh, okay scenes, you know, when he's going through like his echolocation and kind of his powers. Pretty cool. I kind of like the purpleness that he has when he fights. Yeah. And that like red mystical stuff when he catches the ball. Like the way they show the powers off, it's pretty cool. It's uh, pretty unique. Not a lot of powers get shown off like that really. Um, yeah. Besides that, I just don't think there's much good visuals. I think and all the fighting that happens between him and the villain, you can never tell what's really going on. Um, kind of just goes all over the place. And he doesn't even really fight the villain much, so you don't see that much. He cool doesn't, visuals. Yeah. <laughs> um, I guess the bats are kind of cool. Right. But yeah, there's bats. no there's no point for them, and then they completely steal that Batman shot. Yeah, walks through the bats. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. I, I can't say much more. Just honestly, there's just a bunch of lame locations. Like being on a boat is pretty stupid, and his yeah. lab is boring. Like I don't know. There's nothing really great about the visuals here. Um, yeah, it's the best part, but it's still kind of clunky and not interesting, really. So, 
And uh, also the visuals, like I think Morbius's face looks kind of fine, but the villain's face I thought looks really I dumb. I did not like when it. he turns into a vampire. It looks ridiculous. And he gets like these weird holes right here in his mouth. Yeah, I don't know. It just looked kind of cartoonish. I think I think too. Morbius looked fine though. Like he, he did. Could, fine. He could have been cool if it was a better movie. Yeah. Um, all right, let's go to the action in the movie. Let's see, what do you get the action? Uh, I could have gone nowhere with this, I guess, but I, I went with a four. Okay. Try not to be too harsh to this movie, but I don't know. Um, it is pretty bad action though, and there's not much of it either. Um, yeah. I don't know. I feel like those slow mo shots could have been kind of cool, but I feel like they just used them so much that yeah, yeah. I really don't like of- them. Then they're like really confusing scenes where like he's chasing the villain. I forgot the villain's name. He's not very memorable. Yeah, I can't. Remember. But uh, Morbius, <laughs> Milo. Like, yeah, Milo. Morbius chases Milo through like the subway place and then they just kind of stop fighting yeah, and then he just Morbius walks starts away. walking away and then the back <laughs> chases him. It's like, what was the direction of this? <laughs> They're just running away from each other. Yep. Um, I thought that was really dumb. Um, so just weird decisions like that and then like, visuals just look it's so bad when they're both fighting each other. Yeah, you can only tell what goes on when the slow mo shots happen. That's, exactly. That's why they happen every five seconds. That's the only reason that, I don't know, <laughs> that they're kind of cool sometimes. Yeah. But it does feel very much like a 2000s, like an old 2000s superhero movie or something. I agree. And I can kind of say that about this whole movie, honestly. It feels yeah. very 2000s. It's um, not as funny. Yeah, not as funny. <laughs> uh, yeah. Nice. Uh, for me, I give the action a 3 out of 10. Um, I mean, it's obviously cool to see vampires doing stuff. I think the yeah. scene where he takes out those guys in the boat's kind of okay. It's kind um, of cool. It would have been cool if you could actually see blood, things like that, but you don't because it's 13 or whatever. Um, <laughs> so not too cool. Um, and then there's not really much action until the, their little fight midway through the movie, which is the dumbest thing ever. And it's, so stupid. it's not much of a fight, so it's just kind of a bunch of messing around for a little. And then... Uh, the, the end and the end fight is probably five minutes long maybe probably it's, it's uh it didn't even hook me that long to stay awake because I was falling asleep during that end battle yeah and Morbius doesn't really even get a hit in I think I think Milo scratches his side and then Morbius is like taken out and he's like oh crap so he's like I gotta get these bats to help me uh-huh. and he somehow has the ability to call bats and the bats take out Milo and then Morbius gets the injection in him I like guess it's just the lamest fight. And Morbius also somehow has the power to fly too, right? Yeah, all and then all of a sudden he stops and then he does it again. <laughs> yeah. He can fly, I guess. So <laughs> inconsistent. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm, I, I guess Morbius just, you slash him on the side and he's done. So I, I thought that was stupid. I mean, I was expected really dumb. to be stronger than that. And, and then, he gets taken out so quick. I guess that's that's not the action, but the little tease with the girl at the end was really weird. Yeah, I know that was dumb. Actually got bit and Morbius like, what did he do? He like bit her and kissed her? Yep. Or some blood dripped in her. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was dumb. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's barely any action at all and it's stupid and it lo- you can't even tell what's going on. And Morbius just gets wrecked right away. So that's yeah. kind of the lamest action ever. Uh-huh. So um, let's go to the characters now. It's our final category. What do you think of the characters? Oh, I forgot about the characters. I can't remember the characters at three. I feel like they're just, they're all so meh. I think the only one that's actually like bad, bad is the villain. <laughs> yeah. He's just cringy. At least he has a little bit of life to him, unlike the other characters. Yeah, he does have a little life. Everyone else is just so boring and Morbius even. Morbius seems like a cool guy, I guess. Like he seems, he's a good person. Which, why, that's why it makes no sense that he's going to join the Sinister Six. But, yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> but I think he could have been a good character. He just a little bit like better writing was put into him. He's yeah. just very boring. Him and the girl's relationship is really dumb because oh, they yeah. have like it's zero ridiculous. chemistry. Him and the villain as kids that shows like two seconds of it. <laughs> yeah. So you don't even feel the conflict really. No. Um, you don't feel bad that he has to fight his best friend or anything. No. Um, I don't know. You just really don't care for any of the characters in this movie. Really. Not at all. Anyone could have died and I would have been like, eh. Especially the, like, protector guy who was, like, taking care of them when they were kids. Like, when he dies, oh, yeah. he doesn't, it was like, doesn't huh? you don't feel anything about that, really. No, they weren't really so sad at all. <laughs> um, yeah, so they were fine, I guess. They're, I, the word I'd use is just meh. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, cool. I, I give them a two out of ten. Um, like I've said a lot, just they're all kind of boring. Morbius was not funny, nor was he interesting. He just no. exists to deliver lines. Uh-huh. And um, the girl, I think, is one of the most frustrating people to me. The girl that is his assistant, because it's like she could have been really good, and I can tell she could have been good. Uh-huh. And it's like she just ends up being this person who shows up every once in a while. Uh-huh. She like almost is ready to crack some jokes with Morbius, but never happens. She's kind of always serious with him. And then it's like, are they supposed to have romance? Because they kind of just <laughs> talk normally all the time. And then it's like, yeah, there are moments where they do act like they're a couple and stuff. And, and they he's finish like, each other. He's so sad. She's dead and all that stuff. And um, yeah, then the villain, he's just cringy. And like I said, the protector, he's doesn't matter when he dies. He's there. The cops, I think, completely. Oh okay, yeah, I forgot about them. The cops just show up every five minutes to look at dead bodies and then say like, oh, interesting. <laughs> Time to go on to the next clue, and then yeah, that's what. And happens. then drop maybe like a dumb joke or something. Yep, the guy with the mustache will drop a little bit of a joke. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just ridiculous. I think the characters are given nothing here to, to give any substance or any care, any emotion. Um, so that's why in an origin story it's important you do have those things probably more than anything else because that's when it's your time to build a lot of stakes and emotions and develop and show the beginning of characters and this one doesn't really do that uh the only origin really gets them as kids for about like, five seconds uh-huh. and, uh, everything else is just there you don't get many moments with the characters it's just a lot of scenes that play out um it really feels like nothing everyone, happens yeah, everyone's movie. dull um yeah, just very uninteresting characters. There's just nothing uh-huh. interesting about us. <laughs> Even like the most generic villains you can think of are still funnier and better than exactly. Like, Even like someone like Red Skull. Yeah, someone like Red Skull is still a little He's like, all, captivating. Yeah, uh-huh. a little more interesting. I'd so. rather watch him. <laughs> yeah. So, um, do you have anything for them? So, let's go ahead and get our score, our final score. What, what, what's your final score here for the movie? If I had a choice, I would have put it down at like a three, but I got a four point two. Okay. I got 2.4. 2.4. Yeah. And what's your, do you have a star rating? What's your star rating? A two out of five. Okay. I'm going to go for a one out of five. One out of five. <laughs> I really don't like it. Um, Rotten Tomato score is 16%, which I think is a little too low, even though I hate the movie. Uh, what do you think? Uh, That's justified. I think it'd be like a 30 something. Yeah. I almost feel like once you get below 40%, it doesn't really matter what point you're at because that's just pretty bad. That's kind of true. Once you hit below 40%, it doesn't matter much. So, I mean, I'd give it maybe a tw- in the 20s, maybe the 30s. That's true. It would never hit 40, though. It's not 40. It's not 40. It's not 40. And that's pretty bad. It could, like, hit, it could hit anywhere below that point. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, 16% is pretty... Yeah, that's pretty bad. I, I, I don't think it's quite in that. It's not quite in the league of, like, Fantastic Four... <laughs> Batman and Robin and stuff. Yeah. But at least those movies are still a little funnier to laugh at. I know. This was not even fun to watch how bad it is. I would it's rather watch bad. Batman and Robin. <laughs> I agree. I would rather watch Batman and Robin. Yeah, that's saying something. So, um, yeah, we don't like this movie here. Obviously, most people don't. I'd be surprised if you do. But still, let us know what you thought of Morbius. And um, yeah, stay tuned. We'll be obviously talking about Moon Knight once that show is all wrapped up. We'll do a whole series review on that. And uh, we've got some other videos to bring to you guys, so make sure you stay tuned. We've got Doctor Strange coming out here soon. Um, so we got a lot more to talk about, so make sure you like and subscribe. Once again, let us know what you thought of Morbius, and we'll see you guys next week. See you guys.